Mrs. Naomi. I honestly can't thank you enough. Desi has told me of how you made her stay here a very blissful one. I'm <laughs> so grateful for you. You're welcome. You raised a beautiful angel here. <laughs> thank you. You've been so amazing to me. Thank you for everything. Oh yeah, and about the bucket list. Koi. Okay. All right then, y'all call each other and gonna act like I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, love. Yes. Sure. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. I hope you're not so lonely without me. <laughs> I am. I think we should consider hanging out and, you know, taking some things off the bucket list. It felt so good taking the first thing off my list today. Yeah, I think we should too. I'm sure my mom wouldn't mind. So where do you have in mind? park I usually visit. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that then. Okay. <laughs> what? Ah, what is it, young lady? Where are you running to? Mom, um, I was on a call with Naomi and she insisted that we, you know, I don't know, hang out. You're 16. Mm -hmm. What kind of hangout are you possibly hanging out? Mom, we're just, we're just going to a park. Nothing else, I promise. It better be the park. It is. And you better be back on time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. You're the best. I like it. <laughs> no, no, no. That way, your food, so you can take your drugs. You don't want to go to the park again. Exactly, that's what I thought. There's really nothing much to say, except that we opened up the company together. We both run it. We're partners. Friends? No, no, no. No friends. I was literally his only friend. He, oh. he didn't make, he didn't like to make a lot of friends. Oh, okay. Um, what about house address or phone number? Okay, don't go stalking anyone. Uh, no, I promise I'm not. I just need them to see if I can do any research. 
No, I might actually find something. Okay, can you do it? I'll show you. Don't go stalk him. Don't go stalking anyone. I won't. <laughs> First of, I never knew Naomi has friends. It's true. And what even makes it more ridiculous is that you are telling me that she misses me. It's true. She wants to see you. Look, when people miss people, they go find them themselves. Um, but, but wait a minute. Why am I even talking to you? I don't know you. Uh, why do I have to believe what you say? Why do I have to believe that uh, a kid knows Naomi? I'm not a kid. Oh. Teenager? The bottom line is, I'm old enough to be here talking to you. Really? Talking to me about something you absolutely know nothing about? You don't know the ills that Naomi is capable of. You just be nice. Just, just, just stop it. People change. She's changed. She's been humbled by the realities of life. <laughs> She's been humbled by the realities of life. Look, you only be naive. People like Naomi, liars and pretenders like Naomi, have a special place in hell. You know nothing. Mr. Chukwemeka Adams. I know you. I know about your marriage. I know Naomi lied to you about being fertile. I know she has cancer. I have cancer too. Naomi might have been a bad person to you. But what I do know is that there was a time you used to love her. I've been with Naomi, and the woman I know is loving, caring. She misses you, and she wishes for nothing more than one last chance to see you. And I'll do anything to see that dream come to pass. <laughs> the she put you up to all of this. Because trust me, you're one hell of a, of a bloody hired act. No. Because listen, if you think I will fall for this, you have another thing coming. So she's dying. I don't care if she's dying as we speak. I don't care anymore. I mean, she broke my heart. She broke the trust I had in her. Uh, she, she made me run a helter skelter looking for a solution to a problem I don't have. Making me think that I am the one with the problem for a good five years. Jesus. Look, look, look. Just go. Just go, okay? You know I'm in a work environment. And it won't be right for me to, to be heard raising my voice. Just so please just go, okay? Jesus, she's dying, please. <sighs> she wants to see you. Please.
goodness. What happened? What happened? What's the problem? Jesse. Baby, what's the problem? She loves him. But he doesn't love her. Who? Oh. Naomi's ex husband, Chooks. Oh. But, uh. My love, look, that's life for you, okay? Life is unfair. I know. Life is unfair, Miss. <laughs> Balanced. Look, I guess it's the hurdles that makes us stronger. Why? Why doesn't God help us? Why do we have to love people who won't love us back? Why didn't he give Naomi a child? Why? Why do we have to have cancer? Why does God want us to die? I don't understand. Honey, look, if I had answers to your questions, I'll give them right away. But what I do know is, I can't question God. Chooks doesn't want to see her. But dad, I've tried, okay? Just let it go and wish them well. Hmm? Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. What, the, what in God's name are you doing here? I thought I told you to stay away from me. I'm so sorry, sir. I know you are angry right now, but I, I'm so sorry on behalf of Naomi and I need you to calm down. But please, you still need to see her. No, no, I am not seeing anyone. Stay away from me. <laughs> well, how, did, how did you even find me in the first place? Stay the hell away from me. to leave you unless you come with me. You're not going to get you arrested. For what? Talking. For not only that. For stalking me and for ruining my life. I told you I don't want to have anything, absolutely nothing to do with Naomi. Please, sir. Please. She's dying. Please. Please, sir. Just do it for us. Please. You know what? I won't be blackmailed by a 10 year old. Alright? So stay away from me. Stay away from me. Nonsense. Hey, hello? Hello? Hey, um, are you free for a date tomorrow? Who's taking me on a date and who's paying? Don't worry, I'll handle it. 6.30 p.m. All right.
come here for a date. And I've been here, there's no one in sight. It's just an empty restaurant. Wait, 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 my, my husband is coming here. What? I... What are you talking Set me up with him. You could have at least warned me. That's the least you could have done so I can prepare myself. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to surprise you. Well, sorry is not going to cut it right now. What am I going to do? He was just standing there. I could, I could have said something. I didn't say anything. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was... I thought it was going to be that easy. What am I going to do now? What am I going to say? I, I I messed up. How am I going to fix it? Okay. He didn't even he, he didn't even give me the opportunity to he, he he just left. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. I'm sorry. I know I messed up. I'm trying to fix this. But I'm going to make him talk to you. I promise. <laughs> How far now? Well done. <laughs> you again. Oh, so sorry, sir. I'm not trying to get you to see anyone or go anywhere. I just want to talk to you. You ran. What? She said you ran away from the restaurant. I didn't run. I only speed walked. There are two different things, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm, we're still talking. Look, young girl. Listen, I, I don't have time for any of this, all right? Yes, listen. I just need you to listen to what I have to say, please. I listen promise to I won't me. take... I don't have time for all of this, all right? Um, stop stalking me. I mean, by the way, aren't you supposed to be in school or something? Where are your parents? Let's just get out of the premises before I call security on you. Out. Same old, same old. My husband is really hard not to crack. Adesa, listen. Don't you think it's high time you disassociate yourself from all of this bucket list, death list nonsense? It's taking a toll on you. Mom, Naomi is my friend and I promise to help her. On what grounds, young lady? Look, I'm not trying to discredit her or anything, but all of this, they're immaterial. It won't matter. Mom, she's going to be my deathmate. Of course. Shut it. I've told you to stop saying that nonsense. What is wrong with you? Stop with all these delusions. Oh, you think I'm going to sit here and watch you die? Really? So I'm just going to be a mother and sit here and just watch my only child die? No, I have got to contend with.
You don't give up, do you? Oh, goodness. Oh, young lady, listen. I mean, what do you stand to gain from all of this? I mean, what do you stand to gain from, from stalking me? You actually know when you listen to what I have to say. Oh, goodness. Young lady, listen. I would only listen to you if you promise to stop pestering me. I mean, everyone now sees you around me. They see the way you wave at me. I don't want them to have funny thoughts. Um, okay, so... Would it be fine if you, like, go to your car or go somewhere and talk this over? Such an unbelievable friend. Good luck. God! You still haven't forgiven me, have you? Well, what's there to forgive? I mean, you did what you thought was best, right? Besides, I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I was the one who messed up. So, guess what? That's why you're so excited. What have you done? Oh, just guess. What have you done again? No, I can't guess. I promise, it's nothing stupid. <laughs> Alright, are you, are you ready to hear it? Yes. Ah, I've been stalking chicks. What? Wait, wait, not like, you know, stalk, stalk, stalk. Just little, you know. I, I hope it's a little stalking. Yes. Bottom line is, he actually agreed to talk to you. Yes. He said we should come to his place, his new place, actually. And, you know, just give him a date. How did you manage to pull that off? <laughs> You won't like the details. No, I mean, I could. Uh, Try me. Um, no. I had to stand in front of his office and wait for him. And like, go back home until I knew he was out of the office. For a man that's stubborn. How yeah. You, how? I told him I wasn't going to stop disturbing him until he paid me attention. He's a sweet man, though. <laughs> he took me out for lunch. You are unbelievable. Anyway, you're not the only one with a secret. So, I visited your mom's Instagram page. She's so beautiful and so young, too. <laughs> Thank you. So, I took some of her photos and I registered it to a dating website. You did what? Yes, I'm sorry. When? And guess what? So many people are already chatting me off, which means that, you know, we could hook up with some eligible bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? Like, when? Mm -hmm. So right now we need to go, it's almost 6 o'clock okay. and the first eligible contestant should be waiting at the restaurant for us. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So we're definitely not what you're expecting. But we want you to see this as a preparation for the original dates. Yes, and we'd like you to know that she's very, very special to us. So we want to know what kind of person we're introducing her to. You, you said your name was? Shego. Oh, Shego, nice. So Shego, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a tailor. Um, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I beg, look, all these questions are necessary. Actually, my mom set me up in this, and I have someone I actually love, but she won't let me marry her because of her tribe, and I actually love her. Did you tell your mom you love her? Well, my mom would have, would have any of it. She, her mind's already made up about her tribe, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Have a good day. It's okay. I wonder when parents are going to begin to let their children marry for love. I mean, aren't we one Nigeria? Oh. Are you the ones for the dates? No, oh, but... Oh, never mind. Anyone can serve. Ah, Baban! Get me a bottle of this. 
So, uh, very beautiful. And I can see that uh, this very healthy is going to be a nice one. What their name? Mm, thank you very much. Yes, 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 ah, that's good. Also. Since you are not the one, but I am definitely not her because she's, she's small, she's small. Don't be small, she's says, okay, beautiful, girl, beautiful lady, you know. But then, how much, how much, how much? What is the thing for the dates? How much is involved so that I will know? Mm, you know, um, you know, I don't like all these man woman love discussion. There has to be something on the table for the date. You know, according to you know, you're a lady, you know, all this law, whatever. It was. So you have to, what's on the table? What's on the table for the date? Ah, I, I, this is your chicken is sweet. I think this is going to be a very, <laughs> it's a very nice one. Yours is looking nice too. Tell me how much is it? Bama, I need another one. Please be fine. Uh, um, we have to discuss the business aspect of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're doing well. How to discuss the business aspect of it, so. And uh, why I. I'm with you. Mm. Yes. Sorry, just w what's your name? What? Huh? What's I thought I came here to. I hope you have yeah. enough money to pay for these two glasses of lager you just ordered. Because we here are not going to pay for that. Get out. Get out. Much fun in a while. Oh, I must say. Well, I can't say the same because your daughter here has been taking around the entire city. Mm -hmm. Like you don't enjoy it. Of course I do. We are the best part of everything. Oh. <laughs> do you know Adeze here went to my husband's office every single day till he agreed to see me and talk things over. Oh, Adeze, mm -hmm. I'm sure you made his life here. Of course she did. <laughs> and you know he's a very strong-headed man. I miss him. And you know you have a red gem here, right? Okay, okay, okay. Enough of me. What have you both been up to? Mom, mm -hmm. where are you going tonight? I was thinking karaoke with you girl. That, I don't know. Mm. Mommy. Yeah? You have a date tonight. Who? Yes. And please don't say no. It took us a whole lot to find such a good person. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? No. I, oh, sorry. I, I, what am I supposed to wear? Jeez, you guys should have told me. I haven't done this in a while. Come on, it can't be that bad. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something. Oh, okay. I, I'll help you too. Mm -hmm. And plus, you're like the most confident and beautiful woman I know. There's literally no need to practice anything. Okay, words like that will get me to do it. So, you know, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe you two. <laughs> Taken. Your mom needs to hurry up. So okay, you know, oh, Jane, 
Yeah, I know, but I feel like my dress is just... Oh, oh come on. on. Oh, my goodness, okay. Let's calm down, you guys. <gasps> How fun. Bye. She looks beautiful. I know. Do you think they're going to heat it off? I hope so. Honestly, I just want her out of the house for herself. I feel like me being sick chokes her a lot, but she just doesn't complain. So, how are you feeling now? Feel better. What about you? It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to live my life and make the most out of it and also be happy. <laughs> You're everything. I love you. Oh, stop hugging me. You're going to make a grown woman cry. Listen, we need to go. Chooks is not going to like it if we're late. Let's go. We need to lock up. Chooks, what are you doing here? You two know each other. Not really, I mean, he, he's an old friend. No, I'm not an old friend. You disappeared on me. We were having it all good before you left. I had to, okay? I couldn't face my family because of the shame I brought to them. <laughs> yes, though I was a car member, not capable now, but I could also taking care of you and the baby. So, Ada. Ada is the child that I left my house with. Oh. I'm so sorry, Chooks. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to forgive. I love you. I was just too scared to face you. I love you so much. That's why it hurts that I that I couldn't keep keep you that thing that you wanted a, a child. But a, a daisy is such a wonderful child. Your child. <laughs> I, I tried to look for you after my parents died. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. You are going to go abroad for your treatment, and you would have. Fully funded scholarship for your education. I want you to make me. Name me, please. Just please. Make me. Where I am. I am. Just breathe, okay? I am. I am. I am. Please. 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 Please, Naomi, Naomi,
Sometimes, life gives you the most amazing things in the silliest ways. You feel like it's all going to end, and then the little ray of sunshine tickles in. That sunlight, for me, was my dad, the most amazing man in the world, and Naomi, my sunshine.